It's a beautiful morning with Joey. It's hot. It is hot. You're hot. If you want to focus, you won't give it back. Vlogging. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I know, Kevin. Kevin, you always ask for early and you're always here like an hour late. The content has no purpose for it. You know, I think that's why like I have the creatives doing their thing. Like they want to create different videos. If you want to create different graphics, that's like good extra stuff. But our job, as, as your job as the social media managers, that we're on, uh, we're, share, we're on message and on brand with everything we're trying to do. So if there's something specific, here are four separate videos we've created for you. Here's one. A music video, here's behind the scenes rehearsals, here's you in the studio, and then one more piece of content I want to do, which is him being a regular person outside. So like, here's the thing that we've done, here's the, if we were ambitious enough, we can create a year's worth of content out of all that. Like, here's all the things we can create out of it, and then like, like and this is all you gotta do, uh, just to upgrade it. Just do it, we'll see what happens. Because we, we, um, we can always take a look at the data and see how, and react on that, because Right now it's just an idea. Let's put it to the test. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, that's it. I mean, we can try it again. We just gotta, maybe we gotta just switch the approach. Cause we, cause what we did was we, instead of focusing on trying to fix it, we focused on what was working, which was- Yeah, the main reason I wanted you to come is like to get you, get the vibe of what we, how we kind of talk and dialects, especially since we're all gonna be working together. Yeah. Get the, uh, the feel. Cause it's one thing to read text and kind of interpret it in our own yeah. internal dialogue, but it's another thing to get to know the person. I think the hardest part always is leaving the family. I'm gonna hang up. But I just gotta do what I gotta do. Uh, probably hang out later. Right now, committed to these things. And I gotta do my best. So that would be my word. And uh, recently said in an interview that, you know, there's always this, this tug, I feel, of balancing family and uh, work. <clears throat> I feel like I, I'm going to echo this message a lot, but it's always like going to be a process of finding the harmony because it's a complete, like, stasis of balance is just impossible. I, I, wish that were the case you know like I just that they're always gonna be they they're always gonna be okay whenever if I don't spend time with them, or work's gonna be okay when if I don't spend time with them but the thing is these are things that require time and it's uh, always the quality that you give and the amount varies that's why finding the harmony is, is important because sometimes you need to spend more time with family sometimes you need to spend more time with work so it's really being aware of what is needed in the moment instead of what you think it needs. I mean, there's what you think it needs and what the moment really needs and being emotionally aware and, and being self-aware as well because sometimes what the moment really needs is different from what you need because sometimes, you know, the moment needs you to be em empathetic but at the same time you are upset and what you need is time for yourself. So, um, awareness and being able to calibrate any situation is super important. Third time I, that I feel like I'm doing not as good, but I'm only human and I'm doing my best. And that's all I can really do. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm here and we work, I'm sweaty and apparently my backpack was open the whole time and I'm not too sure I'm going to get it because I'm going to work to have a guest again. So I'm going to give him a call. I realized I didn't say it was number. I like the adventures but there's some days I just want to stay home and rest. 
once I'm out, I'm just like, out. You and I be on and devil's never gonna let it up as long as we be here together. True, only a piece of what I got for you. So when they ask about it, yeah, you know there's nothing to lose, yeah. Tell me why you fighting, big girl, I know exactly why you want this. Yeah. Tell me why you fighting, big girl, I know exactly how you, hey. Rather blazing up with you than anybody else Counting that nothing, I let you know if I'm gonna need some help Nah, and let them in it, they not really forward Falling for something that wasn't real is how I feel at home Keep them closer than the rest of them Never let the best of us get to you Know so much better than anything I've ever seen Honestly, fuck them other dudes They got nothing on me, I'm so on the tab to see So what you want in me? I think it's something new I see you searching for something So caught up on the loose Nah, don't call it quits unless you find the losing I find the bruises more after when I account for moving I'm using probably see I'm doing better when I do nothing just cool it cool I know it's harder to find you probably see me I've been losing my mind but it's all right yeah tell me why you fighting big girl I know exactly how you want this and tell me why you fighting baby girl I know exactly how you uh, let me roll this hold up let me focus on you give me one more second and I show you what's new with me I know you really ain't that cool with me but tell me why I act a fool it ain't cool you see updated you guys so let me get my, myself in focus so that went really really well six prospects for vision paradox and I kind of put out there this morning that I wanted to get more at least five more clients for vision paradox because cash brings oxygen to the business which allows us to gives us more flexibility and, and resources well the ability to get more resources to do things we want to do for the clients and if we bring them and I'm not assuming that we're going to get every single one of them. Say we do, it gives us the ability to get more people on the team. Uh, and what sucks is that <laughs> that whole time, because you saw me fall earlier, that I've been the whole time, I had a whole size of this kind of the whole time, my crotch hanging out there. Um, while I was at the, at the event, you know, listening to my friends speak and then networking and then, you know, then kind of giving people like some one-on-one -on -one stuff and then get, exchanging information all while I had a crotch hole in my crotch. So, you know, kind of reassures me is that if you're good at what you do, you know, it doesn't matter what gear you're wearing. It doesn't even have to wear a suit. I thought I was wearing torn shorts I look like I, I don't know came from Venice Beach or something so that's it that's it for the vlog